Monster Mayhem is a castle defense game by Tapplay that is currently on the feature list on the App Store as of this review. It's free to play that provides lots of action and screen tapping that is equally addictive and fun to play. But does this freemium game have a catch? Stay tuned to find out. You are the Gravekeeper, and it's your job to protect the gate as hordes of monsters ruthlessly march towards your gate from the right hand side of your screen. You can kill the monsters by either swiping at the monster with a knife or tapping at it with a gun. I thought this worked really well, and it's a fresh departure from building friendly units to defend your gate like most castle defense games play, and it's definitely, it definitely engages you in a different, fun kind of a way. But don't get too excited or your arm will get tired really fast, really quick, especially if you like using the knife to save ammo. The biggest differentiator for this game is its coin system. As you kill monsters or complete a level, you're awarded with coins that you can use to purchase and upgrade your weapons and ammo. As you level up, new weapons unlock, and you can purchase them if you think it'll help you out for the upcoming stages. Which is a cool element of the game, undoubtedly, until you realize that it's really expensive to upgrade the weapons. For me, I power through this game mostly using the knife because I wanted to conserve the ammo for the most part, thinking that I'm saving a ton of coins so when I really need the guns, they'll be fully stocked with ammo and I'll be good to go, right? Well, this strategy worked for about 40 minutes into the game but then I realized that I had to upgrade my weapons because by then, the enemies were so strong and they were a lot faster than I could handle. But sadly, the problem was that I didn't have enough coins to upgrade, even though I thought I was doing a good job of saving the coins. And I'm sure this was by design. To remind you, this is a free game, and like all free games, you have the option to purchase more coins if you're willing to spend the real money. And that's to be expected. Um, or you can also get free coins by downloading some of the game's suggested apps, which may be well worth it if you really want the coins. But the problem that I had with this system was that the game got really tough really quick. So if I just played the game as is for free without spending the extra time to farm extra coins from earlier levels, I couldn't advance past a certain level because I didn't have the appropriate weapons or that I couldn't repair my gate due to the lack of coins. Granted, the game does give you plenty of opportunities to uh, maximize your coin farming. The monsters randomly drop coins and ammo when you kill them, and after you complete some levels, there are these elves that you can kill to get extra coins and ammo as well. But even then, they disappear so fast, and I'm too busy trying to kill other monsters that I never felt like I was given the right amount of time to pick them up. What's worse is that uh, some levels have these flowers, which, if I hurt it, it damages my gate. Which is fine, it gives me more challenge, and I'm cool with that, but have a look at this instance. What if I ran out of ammo, and uh, or all I had left was my knife? All enemies coming straight through that area where the flowers are. It's, uh, it's these kinds of moments when I felt that uh, the game got really tough really fast. It's almost as if the developers wanted to get in my wallet as fast as possible. Still, the game is free and it is possible to beat without paying a dime. You may have to revisit some of the earlier levels to farm coins and put in some time, but that's usually the catch in any freemium games. However, objectively speaking, this game really is fun and, and, and addictive, and if it weren't free, you would probably be willing to pay a dollar or two anyways. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that uh, it may be worth spending a couple bucks to purchase the in-game coins. In fact, my experience after purchasing some coins got much, much better. Uh, but I was also trying to power through the game for this review as soon as possible. But you may find that playing the same level over and over again uh, may be just as fun. And if that's the case, the game will rock your iOS device for days. Also, one minor thing to note is that when I first downloaded this app, it kept crashing upon the start of the very first level. Uh, but after restarting my phone, the app never crashed since then. 
so then again, the game's free, and if that means I have to restart my phone once, I'll, I'll gladly do that. But overall, the Monster Mayhem is one fun game. It's uh, one of those games where you keep telling yourself just one more level, uh, sitting on a toilet and end up falling in it. Uh, too bad it doesn't have some kind of a leaderboard to see how you're faring against the world, but aside from the usual freemium catch, this game is a must-have for any iOS device owners for its instant fun. It's easy to get into, and it's extremely addictive, and it's free. So, nothing should stop you from uh, giving this one a go. And for more app review updates, please subscribe to my channel and I'll be sure to bring more reviews like this in the future. If you like the game, click the thumbs up button and leave comments. And this has been AppRary and I'll see you guys next time.